Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Kill shot Trump just destroyed top Tim McCaskill with only three words. President Donald Trump just flew to Missouri today and said the three words that all the Democrats were praying he wouldn't. During his rally, he told the crowd that if their Democrat Senator Claire McCaskill refuses tax reform, they need to vote her out. President Trump made himself very clear when he looked out at the crowd of Missouri natives and told them, We must lower our taxes and your Senator, Claire McCaskill, she must do this for you, and if she doesn't, you have to vote her out of office. Honestly, y'all, it's not just McCaskill that's got to go either. We need to hold all our senators and congressmen to the standard where, if they don't work for the people they don't get to keep their job. McCaskill's got to learn that there's plenty of other folks who would love to take that job from her and vote Republican. Take this Austin Peterson guy, for example. He's challenging McCaskill for the Senate seat as a Republican next year and he's a 100% constitutionalist. Y'all also need to consider if the bill they do vote on is enough to satisfy all the needs you got and if it's enough to make up for years of failure. Either way. Help share this out and let these politicians know that we the people are coming for them in 2018. Condoleezza Rice shares what she really thinks of the Roy Moore election, it's profound. The controversial election between Alabama candidates Roy Moore and Doug Jones is about to begin. Alabama native Condoleezza Rice finally broke her silence and exposed what she really thinks of the election. The mainstream media might not like what Condi has to say. This week's special election will be one of the most significant in Alabama's history. As a native daughter, I remain, at heart, an Alabaman who loves our state and its devotion to faith, family, and country, said Rice. I encourage you to take a stand for our core principles and for what is right. These critical times require us to come together to reject bigotry, sexism, and intolerance, said Rice. It is imperative for Americans to remain focused on our priorities and not give way to sideshows and antics. I know that Talibans need an independent voice in Washington. But we must also insist that our representatives are dignified, decent, and respectful of the values we hold dear, said Rice. Please exercise your right to vote, a privilege won by the sacrifices of our ancestors. Sustain the central ideals and values that make our country a beacon for freedom and justice for the sake of Alabama and for the good of the United States of America, said Rice. Do you think she makes a good point? She's not feeling good, DNC's Donna Brazile finally discusses Hillary's poor health during campaign. During the course of the 2016 presidential election campaign, it was plain as day that Democratic candidate Hillary was physically unwell. There was, first, Hillary's apparent hyperthyroidism, which caused her to have what one might call googly eyes. Then there was, of course, Clinton's constant fits of coughing, which her team tried to pass off as merely a cold, even though she coughed consistently at public events over the course of the whole campaign. Finally, there was the September 11th memorial event where Hillary fainted and had to be whisked away from cameras by Secret Service. Members of the Democratic team that unsuccessfully tried to jam Hillary through and make her president were tight-lipped about Hillary's health last year. However, former DNC interim chair Donna Brazile finally opened up about the state of Hillary's health during an interview with Hugh Hewitt on his show. Brazile did her best to try to put Hillary's health problems in a positive light and even blamed the fact that Hillary was under the weather for why she made her infamous basket of deplorables gaff. Said Donna, Well, I thought that night, I was in New York with her, I could tell from her mannerisms just a few minutes before that she was under the weather. She wasn't feeling good. Despite that, I think she went ahead and did her very best given the significant headwind that she faced. Donna also admitted that she and her Democratic team made a mistake in allowing Hillary to go to the 9-11 memorial event even though doctors had warned her the candidate was unwell and had overheated already. Said Brazile, you know, when I was talking to the staff people early that morning, they kept telling me well, she's overheated. I said you don't say that. You never say that about a woman being overheated. That's just sexist jargon. I said what's wrong with her? Go get a doctor and make a good analysis. When she came out and smiled and looked at the little girl, I'm like okay, I had hoped that a doctor would have come out with her. Are you glad that physically enfeebled Hillary did not become our president?
James Woods reveals how Lib Chelsea Handler once got peed on in the face and liked it. Strong out liberal comedian and Netflix host Chelsea Handler has lately attempted to publicly bully White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and, laughably, take the high ground with her. Sanders has thankfully not let Chelsea's nasty comments get to her, and her father Mike Huckabee did a good job of pointing out just how morally compromised Chelsea is compared to his married daughter. Conservative actor James Woods did Huckabee one further by bringing up the fact that the woman who is criticizing Sarah once let someone urinate on her on camera. Chelsea said about Sarah on the December 1st episode of her show Chelsea, that harlot that they are dressing up and dropping out every day? I mean, one day she has no makeup on at all, the next she's got six long eyelashes, cleavage, and summer whore lipstick all over her face. Woods later posted in response, together with the clip of Chelsea getting peed on by American Pie actor Jason Biggs, this person berates the character of at Sarah Huckabee on a daily basis. Hashtag Chelsea Handler Human Urinal In 2014, Handler actually tried to defend the fact that she got peed on by Biggs in a video, claiming to us weekly, I thought it was so funny that somebody would pee on someone's face, that I was laughing so hard I couldn't swim away. I was trapped. I was in the urinary Bermuda Triangle. Classy Chelsea continued, Listen, I can take one for the team. If somebody needs to get urinated on, I am happy to do that. I don't care about urine. Who gives a s? Sorry, who cares? I was in the ocean. Do you know how many things are living in the ocean? It's like a human toilet. Do you think Chelsea Handler is an embarrassment to all liberals? Moments ago car sped out of woods at Trump's limo, what happened next is horrifying. This video was posted on YouTube on Wednesday. It shows a car speeding out of the woods right at the president's motorcade. It was taken by Clay Hefner today when the president was in Springfield, Missouri. Oh my gosh! Look at the car that came out of the woods, cried the man in the video as President Trump's limo. Crunch! That sound you hear in the video is the sound of the white car hitting the barrier on the highway. That car right there just drove out of the woods, said a man. Secret Service agents did a U-turn and exited the truck to immediately confront the people in the white car. Ska Reed. You can see a man exit the car, distressed. He hold his hands over his head. Did he try to ram the president's limo? No details were known at the time what it was. This was President Trump's first trip to Missouri. Trump even took Missouri by 19 points last November. The line was huge while he was there. The media will not cover this at all. There is evil at work in this country trying to take out our president. It's for real. For real, we need to show everyone in America this harrowing moment above. Death blow Trump just made brutal threat to Congress that left them shaking. President Trump flew all the way to Missouri just today to deliver a historic speech on reforming the U.S. tax code to help our people and our companies. However, the big shocker was not his plan or his forwardness. The biggest all was the brutal threat he made to Congress that left them shaking. Trump said Democrats and Republicans better work together on tax reform this year or else. The president roared ferociously to the crowd of onlookers. And I don't want to be disappointed by Congress, do you understand me? Do you understand? I think Congress is going to make a comeback. I hope so. Tell you what, the United States is counting on it. He is 100% right. The fact of the matter is there will always be liberals and conservatives in the country. It's how the founders made it. They also decided to found it because both sides agreed that taxes suck. So, let's have that great American unity once again by working together to get the one thing all Americans want, more money. If you think it's time to simplify the tax code and remove the loopholes while lowering corporate taxes, help share this out and make it happen. Doc 7. Glory be this woman just did the incredible to bring the Lord to Texas and save Harvey survivors. There is just so much unspeakable tragedy in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. From the family of six found drowned in their van to the three-year-old girl found clinging to her deceased mother, it's just too tragic for words. One woman found a way to lift spirits though, in a Texas shelter. Just take a look at what she did to lift everyone to the Lord. That is Victoria White, singing to evacuees from the hurricane, at the Lone Star Expo Center in Conroe, Texas, near Houston. She was joined by Mark West Taylor and several others in singing praise to the Lord, even in the midst of all the devastation. So many have lost so much from Hurricane Harvey, now said to have caused the worst flooding in American history.
lives and property have been lost. It will take years for people to rebuild their lives. Yet this woman and her friends were able to sing and get others singing, to the Lord. We know he giveth and he taketh away. And still, we sing praise to him, who has a purpose for everything, even when it is beyond our understanding. Thank you, Victoria. You and your voice are beautiful. If you agree and want to thank Victoria yourself, please share this so much she sees it and comment Amen. H. T. The Daily Mail